Hi, what's up guys? Today we will be using baking soda to increase the KH or alkalinity in our reef tank. So uh, I have been using baking soda to increase the KH or alkalinity in my reef tank for a few years. So why do I choose uh, baking soda? First of all, it is uh, very easily available and uh, it's very cost effective and cheap way to maintain KH in your reef tank. Reefing is not exactly a cheap hobby so uh, if you are able to reduce some costs, you can uh, kind of stay in the hobby for a longer run. So you can actually dose uh, baking soda directly to increase the KH on your reef tank or you can bake the baking soda to make it even uh, stronger and you get around double the dosage that you get from a regular baking soda. So how do you determine the dosage to use for your reef tank? You can use this uh, free app called uh, Reef Tank Element Calculator for free. So uh, once you have downloaded the app, uh, hit to alkalinity which is the KH option. So over here you will need to key in your uh, water volume for your tank. So uh, there are two options which you can use to increase your alkalinity. So uh, the first one is NaHCO3 which is the uh, normal baking soda powder that you can buy from any supermarket. So according to the app, uh, dosing 9 gram of soda powder effectively uh, increase your KH by 1 while dosing uh, 5.68 gram of uh, soda ash which is the baked version of soda powder effectively increases your KH by 1. So you can either use uh, soda powder or soda ash to increase the uh, KH on your reef tank. I would normally prefer to use soda ash as it is uh, more efficient in uh, increasing the pH as well on your reef tank so uh, I get extra growth from my corals with the added uh, pH. But uh, the choice is up to you, you can uh, directly dose uh, soda powder into your reef tank so I would be uh, converting this soda powder into soda ash. The process is uh, pretty straightforward. You will have to uh, spread the soda powder and heat the soda powder in oven uh, in around 300 Celsius for around one hour. Your soda powder will then be reduced to uh, soda ash which I find is more efficient and effective. So what I'll usually do is I will preheat the oven for 15 minutes before uh, baking the soda powder. So after that, I will be uh, adding the soda powder and heating the soda powder at 300 Celsius for one hour. So uh, after baking around one hour, we will have the soda ash uh, ready for use. You will notice that the uh, soda powder has been reduced by at least uh, 50% and the powder are much finer and uh, less grainier now. So uh, once you have determined the dosage for your reef tank, I will usually uh, mix one week of uh, soda ash into water to be dosed into my reef tank. So when you are dosing into your reef tank, it is important to keep uh, all the parameters stable. For example, uh, it would be uh, better if you dose hourly for uh, one week. So uh, this would keep the KH as stable as possible. Typically, I would uh, mix the soda ash into 1 liter of water. Next, I would be uh, dosing the same amount for uh, 1 hour for the entire 1 week. So that would in turn keep the uh, KH parameter as stable as possible. We hope that the video has been helpful to you. Give us a like and hit the subscribe button if it has been. Thank you for watching.